Hi, I'm Mike Connell, founder of Boston Making a Difference, here with another episode of BMAD Spotlight. And today with us, we have an EFT practitioner. Her name is Betty Ann Lauria. She goes by the company name of Mariposa EFT, certified by EFT International. Betty Ann, welcome to BMAD Spotlight. Thank you so much, Mike. It's wonderful to be here. Betty Ann, tell us a little bit about EFT. What is it? I'd love to. Um, it's The letters stand for Emotional Freedom Techniques. A lot of people just know it as tapping or that funny thing where you tap on your face and your side of your hand and, you know, what is that? Well, it's, um, as I said, people know it as tapping. You can think of it as acupuncture without the needles or a reboot to your system. And what it's doing is we're tapping on meridian endpoints that send an electromagnetic signal to the amygdala in our brain. So before I go into that, I'll just say, what are meridians? Well, meridians are energy channels that run throughout the body uh, that they've known about in Chinese medicine for thousands of years. And we're just kind of coming into it ourselves here in the Western world. And um, tapping on those endpoints, as I said, sends an electromagnetic signal to the amygdala, which is the emotional center in our brain. And so when we're going through stress, our, the amygdala does not know that it's maybe just a terrible news feed you're hearing or you know a text that upset you. It thinks it's clear and present danger and it sends you into the uh, sympathetic nervous system or the fight or flight mode, which what that does is it pumps out cortisol, the main um, uh, fight or flight um, hormone. And that's great if you do have to fight or flee because you need all your energy in your extremities. But if you don't, you're just sitting there really stressed out about something, then you've got all this um, cortisol in your system and it's not doing you any good. As a matter of fact, it is compromising your immune system. It's causing heart disease. It's causing weight gain, all sorts of things. So when we tap and talk about a stressor, it tells the brain, oh, okay, I can relax. And studies have shown that cortisol levels go right down after uh, you have tapped. So it's an amazing tool for people to have in their back pocket when they're stressed out. That's great. And especially during these times, these pandemic times, as we call them. Tell us a little bit about how you've been helping people with that through these times. Okay. Well, the nice thing about um, EFT is that you can do it uh, over the phone or with Zoom, you don't have to be in person as long as you know people know where the points are. So I can. I've been talking to people uh, on the phone. I've been working with my family a lot, especially, um, and it's really been helping. I've also done a couple of uh, more, a couple of other podcasts just to get the message out there because there are some really important important things for people to know. One of the things that um, I don't know how many people know, but the VA, the Veterans Administration, is using EFT now as a recommended therapy for PTSD. Um, as a matter of fact, there's something called the Veterans Project, that uh, Veterans Stress Project, it's called, and you can go to stressproject.org and read about that and how it's helping veterans. Um, research, their research has shown that eight out of 10 veterans who have been tested for PTSD test no longer positive for PTSD after only six one hour sessions and the results last. It's not like just, oh, they go off and then they, you know, an hour later, they're feeling it again. It really, it lasts. Um, same thing with people with weight loss. There's a, a lot of studies done on weight loss where people lose weight using EFT, don't necessarily go on a diet. They're just using this to calm their stressors and they lose weight and it stays off. So we can really help a lot of people with this. How did you get into this? What, what, what brought you around to doing uh, EFT? That's a good question. Um, I've always been interested in alternative healing methods and I was watching a webinar one time and I saw this wonderful couple, Nick and, well, they're not a couple, they're brother and sister, Nick and Jessica Ortner, who are also well-known in, in, um, in these circles. They were doing, they were talking about this thing called tapping and they invited their audience to to go along with them and do it. And so I tried it out and it worked on a couple of stresses that I was going through, a couple of issues. And I thought, wow, this is this is powerful stuff. So of course I had to try it out on my husband because you know that's what you do. When <laughs> you learn something new, you try it on, on, out on the people who are closest to you. And um, and it, it, he really felt a lot better on a few, few issues. And I thought, hmm, I need to get trained in this. So I did. And I was approaching retirement of teaching. 
So I thought, here's my next thing to do to help people. That's awesome. Why don't we do a little bit of a, what you said was a demo or a demonstration of, of how it works so the audience has an understanding and can maybe try it themselves if, it, if it's helpful to them? I'll be your guinea pig, your husband's not here. <laughs> What's that? I said, I'll be your guinea pig, your husband's not here. Thank I'll, you, I'll I didn't want to say guinea pig, pig but since you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, we'll say you could be my client for now. You can represent right. anyone who might That's be better, listening. That's a better term. Yeah. <laughs> So I was thinking that because we're approaching the holidays and um, and this year everything's different, we won't go into why, but so much is happening, that everyone might be feeling rather anxious about what they're gonna do over the holidays. Are they gonna stay home? Are they gonna go to someone's house? Are they going to, you know, their kids coming home from college, um, maybe they've lost someone this year due to the pandemic and it's the first holiday they have to go through without them. Um, I think we're all feeling a lot of different stresses in different ways. So maybe if we just tap around anxiety, um, what do you think? Think that's a good good idea? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay. I'll um, do, what, do what I can here. <laughs> okay. Uh, for those people who may be listening to this at another time, if you wanted to stop this uh, tape and go get some water, it's always good to have water around when you're doing this. And I also like people to think if I'm doing something with a group, I like them to think of something specific. Great, I'm gonna take a little sip myself. Something specific they might be anxious about because with tapping, the more specific we are, the better. But even if you just tap on the word anxiety and don't worry about what to say or where to tap because you can follow me. I'm just gonna go through the points really quickly right now. First, we'll be tapping on the side of the hand and it doesn't matter which. And then what's called the eyebrow point, the side of the eye, under the eye, the nose, which is really under the nose, the chin, the collarbone, which is, you can, EFT is very forgiving. You don't have to worry if you're on the exact spot, um, you're gonna be fine. Under the arm, which is about four inches below the armpit and the top of the head. That's it. And we say certain things. The first thing we're going to do is say a setup statement. So, um, and one thing I just want to say is this is a presentation for informational purposes only, and it's not meant to be um, medical advice. I just feel I need to say that. I'm not a doctor, so a doctor. So a natural product uh, disclaimer, yes. Right, that's my disclaimer. Plus the fact that EFT is very gentle and has no side effects, so I'm not worried. <laughs> but just to say those things. Um, so in order to start, let's everybody just take a deep cleansing breath. So you're going to breathe in through your nose and out. And one more time. Out. And then I want you to think, think, say to yourself, I'm really anxious about the holidays coming up because, and you can add a because in, of your own if you want. And then ask yourself, how true is that statement right now? Is it a one, which is no stress at all, or a 10, which is super stressed? And the first number that comes into your mind is usually the right one. And you can just think about it for later. We'll, I'll ask you again, how do you feel now? And so we're gonna start with a setup statement. I'm gonna ask you just to repeat what I say if you don't mind. So I have a couple of things written down here. I just wanted to make sure I got to them. So, so bringing the specific worry to your mind, the specific anxiety, repeat after me. Even though I'm feeling so anxious about the holidays. Even though I'm feeling so anxious about the holidays. I accept myself and how I feel. I accept myself and how I feel. And even though this anxiety is really stressing me out. Even though this anxiety is really stressing me out. I accept myself and how I feel. I accept myself and how I feel. And even though I'm feeling so anxious about the holidays. And even though I'm feeling so anxious about the holidays. Sometimes I can't even sleep. Sometimes I can't even sleep. Or concentrate or concentrate. I accept myself and how I feel. 
I accept myself and how I feel. So before we go on, I'll just say, so what you're doing is you're promoting acceptance of where your body is right now, and you're offering a path to release it. Okay, so we're going to, starting on the side of the eye, I, I'm sorry, starting on the eyebrow point, repeating after me, this anxiety. This anxiety. Side of the eye, it's really weighing me down. It's really weighing me down. Under the eye, sometimes I can't sleep. Sometimes I can't sleep. Nose, sometimes I can't concentrate. Sometimes I can't concentrate. Chin, there's so much to think about. There's so much to think about. Collarbone, should I travel? Should I stay home? Should I travel? Should I stay home? Under the arm, I'm feeling so pressured. I'm feeling so pressured. Top of the head, I can't decide. I can't decide. Eyebrow point, do I have to decide all alone? Do I have to decide all alone? Side of the eye, I'm so nervous I can't sleep. I'm so nervous I can't sleep. Under the eye, I feel so responsible. I feel so responsible. Nose, it's like a knot in my stomach. It's like a knot in my stomach. Or you might be feeling it somewhere else and you can substitute that. Chin, I'm just so anxious. I'm just so anxious. Collarbone, all this responsibility and anxiety. All this responsibility and anxiety. Under the arm, what if someone gets sick? What if somebody gets sick? Top of the head, what if I hurt someone's feelings by not going? What if I hurt somebody's feelings by not going? Eyebrow point, what if I could feel calmer about this holiday? I holiday? could feel calmer. Side of the eye, but I'm so anxious. But I'm so anxious. Under the eye, having trouble sleeping. I'm having trouble sleeping. Nose, part of me wants to forget the whole season. Part of me wants to forget the whole season. Chin. I can choose a better way. I can choose a better way. Collarbone, I could feel calmer. I could choose to feel calmer. I could choose to feel calmer. Under the arm, what if I can relieve some of this anxiety? What if I could relieve some of this anxiety? Top of the head, I'm willing to try. I'm willing to try. Eyebrow point, this anxiety. This anxiety. Side of the eye, all this pressure. All this pressure. Under the eye, maybe I can release some. Maybe I could release some. Nose, I'm willing to try to release the pressure. I'm willing to try to release some depression. Maybe we can all decide together, Chin. Maybe we could all decide together. Collarbone, releasing this pressure. Releasing this pressure. Releasing all this anxiety. Releasing all this anxiety. Releasing this anxiety in my body and my mind. Releasing this anxiety in my body and my mind. Okay, take a deep breath. And now I, I would usually ask a client to just take a moment and scan their body. Um, we didn't talk about this before, but a lot of times you feel anxiety and other emotions in your body somewhere. And remember that number that you started with and what would that number be now? Maybe it's gone down a little bit. Um, sometimes it might go up a little bit because when we're working, when we're doing tapping, we're moving energy around. And sometimes it brings more things to the surface that we need to tap about. So um, another thing is you might have noticed uh, a memory that came up while we were tapping. And that's because you, we're, we're signaling, we're connecting with your subconscious, which is something we don't pay attention very much in our waking moments of our day. And um, that memory, you can ask yourself, what does that have to do with how I'm feeling right now? Because it might be connected. So that's, that's how tapping works. And um, as I said, if I'm working with a client, we 
we would probably do more rounds on more specific things that came up. That's awesome. That's very simple to do. How do you feel right now? I feel great. I do. I, that, that was very relaxing. Uh, I enjoyed that. That was. So I guess, you know, the, the final question is, is, you know, if, if somebody in the audience would like to learn more about it uh, mm -hmm. and maybe even work with you on uh, doing some EFT, uh, how do they get in touch with you? Mariposa EFT at gmail.com. Um, they can send me an email. I do have a Facebook page. They can find me on Facebook. I'm working on a uh, website right now. We do not have one. So, but I do have a page on Facebook. Um, and they can reach me there or just email me at mariposaeft at gmail.com. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah. Betty Ann, it was a pleasure meeting you here today and uh, letting our Thank audience know about you. You're doing some great things to help people during this stressful time. Any way to relieve someone's stress is having impact on people's lives. So that's a great thing and I appreciate that. And that's what Boston Making a Difference is all about is, is trying to help people improve their lives and uh, tapping or EFT is one of those things people can do. So thank you so much for being here today. It's been my pleasure. Thank you, Mike. Okay, you have a great Thanksgiving and uh, holiday season. And to everybody out there, have a great holiday season and do some tapping when you get stressed out over turkey dinner. <laughs> <laughs>